house lifted from the pages of a storybook. Even a small glimpse of Hillside invites daydreaming. We first saw the house three years ago, and it was actually just in passing when we would come visit our friends who lived um, around the block. And uh, we, always, we only could see the top portion, the roof, and we always joked and said, we want that house, we're gonna have that house. And I guess you could say it turned into a little bit of an obsession. They researched the architecture and the craftsmen who gave life to the design. I mean, it was built to the highest, highest of standards back in the early 1900s. They pictured the families who walked the halls and came to know Sandra, the most recent owner. We really felt bad for her situation and we wanted to help her in some way. Um, but we also wanted to help the neighborhood and, and bring this house back and restore it. What they thought was a fairy tale. There really isn't a whole lot to do to it other than to restore it and bring it back to what it once was started to look like a thriller. Which is a whole lot to do. It will take a lot of time, absolutely. Consider the windows, 130 of them. The original hardwood floors, 9,000 square feet. And then there's the yard, more than one and a half acres. I don't even think I realized how many things had to be done. I mean, almost everything has to be done. Um, anything you could imagine. Because Hillside is a historic property, Michael and Eric are working closely with the city, county, and preservation experts to do it right. We're also trying to find the best designers, landscape architect, contractors that know how to tackle an old project like this. They had anybody right away. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to think. Uh, I, I think one person, I I'm not like going to mention. had somebody. No, I just recently had somebody that seems to not call back after they've been here one time. Oh, that's right. But um, yeah. generally speaking, actually, we've had an outpouring of people from the community. And people are just so excited and there's so much positivity coming our way that it makes it so much easier for us to tackle on a big project like this. The history of the house certainly makes for a page turner, but there's much more to the hillside narrative and Eric and Michael plan to add a few chapters of their own. Our overall goal and objective and what we see for our future is literally our girls running and playing in the front yard of, of just sweeping grasses. What do your girls think about this house? Uh, actually, every, every time we sit down on a couch or something to show pictures or do something on our phones, they say, new house, new house. It's easy to imagine tea parties on the lawn and princesses dancing in the dining room. But it's almost like you want to get a little deep. It's almost like the soul of the house was reaching out to us. It's almost like it called to us and, and asked for our help and asked for the cry. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's almost like it knew that we had a family and all that we wanted to do for our family. And um, it just drew us in, and, and I love that. I think that's really cool. Just a couple of dads looking for their happily ever after in a big old house. It's, it's so living beautiful. a dream.